Hello YouTubers, uh, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the uh, subscription box called the Hoover Box tonight. Um, it, I've had the subscription now for about 3-4 months I think. You, um, There are two sizes, you, one you can get for about 20 quid and another one you can get for about 35 which is the deluxe version and it's the deluxe version I'm going to be showing you tonight. Uh, it comes in um, a nice package like this with a, a pretty pattern on it, hooker box. Uh, the 19, the, the 19.99 um, version is a slightly smaller box, and it basically contains a subset of what you get in the 35 pound version. Still, lots of fun, and I tried the cheaper version for my first outing with this box, and liked it so much I thought I'd try the more expensive one. So. Um, I think I suppose the easiest way of describing this box is like you know, it is like for cozy nights in um, fun games with your friends and family, um, sort of chocolate and tea that kind of thing, and it's just a really nice sort of cozy um, box, basically, is how I would describe it. Um, I mean, you've got um, a card here that tells you all about the Hugger manifesto if you want to have a quick look so that basically gives you um, a bit more of an idea of basically what the box is all about I think um, I've had a little look at what the contents but not really um, so most of this is going to be a surprise to me they have a, a cheat sheet here but um, this month <laughs> Only one, um, one, one piece of paper has printed, so I only know uh, two or three things in this box um, before I open it, which is fair enough. They have this cute little thing here, a postcard that says choose happy. So there you go, that's quite cute. So I'm just going to open it up now. And uh, we're going to go through um, the contents. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this milk chocolate bar. It says milk chocolate space hopper with orange. In, in this, in this uh, in, I can't pronounce it, sorry, but it's a British chocolate firm, apparently. There you go. Um, it says if you like milk chocolate, do you even ask yourself why orange normally confines in dark stuff? So it's actually milk chocolate bar with orange. Milk chocolate actually has an advantage in that it carries a delicate orange oil with more pose. We think a cut above seven. So there you go. So that's a um, a milk chocolate orange bar, which I'll probably share um, with my partner when he comes back from overseas. He's um, away um, at the moment, so um, I shall keep that for when he comes back. We'll share it together. Or assuming he likes milk chocolate, and milk chocolate and orange. No idea. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is this, and um, by the looks of it, um, this is a packet of playing cards. That can be quite fun. I don't actually have any playing cards, so um, I think that's kind of neat. Um, it, it's um, nice for um, cosy nights in. I think the the theme this month is um, or the autumn, yeah, autumn happiness. I should read a little bit about that at the end. So you can see, like, so I guess we're looking at like sort of a cozy night in type thing. Next thing I have here is a tiny little box of chocolates. It says Chocolate Utopia, exclusive handmade chocolates from Nottingham. Apparently, so you go, cute little box that you can probably give to someone. That's really cute. Um, then you have this month's tea. Um, I'm a great um, fan of tea and coffee, but teas, but you know, really nice posh teas as opposed to like PG tips or something. This one is from the Tea Leaf Company, number five blood orange infusion. So I'm guessing it says exotic blood orange in this bright tangy infusion packs a bold citrusy punch that is tart as it is sweet. There you go. Blood orange tea. I don't know if I can open it to show you. Should I have a look? I 
apologies in advance if, if uh, you can hear my washing machine. Oh, it smells gorgeous actually. Um, and you can see it's like, basically it's loose tea. And sort of chunks and stuff. And it smells really nice. I will definitely look forward oops, to trying some of that. Of course now I can't get it back. Oh, there you go. Just back. I have a feeling my um, washing machine is about to spin. Right, so um, this is a vintage apple scented candle in this box here. Don't know how to open that, but um, yeah, maybe I'll open that later because it's one of those really weird lid type things. But yeah, I look forward to that. I like scented candles, so that's good. Next thing in here it says banana, I'm going, oh this is a milkshake mix, I love milkshake, this is banana flavour, um, I'm slightly lactose intolerant so um, I'll probably have to get some lacto, lacto free milk um, to use that with, yeah banana flavoured milkshake mix, that I'm really going to enjoy. Next thing is, looks like a card that says let's hang out and hoover. So that's quite good fun. Um, I've got a fair amount of cards stashed away, so this will just add to my collection. Let's have a look. Yeah, so it's just a blank inside. So that's kind of cute. I like that. The little van envelope to go with it. Oh, this is about a bit more about that chocolate, I think. The chocolate utopia thing. Kind of cute. Very cool. Um, you got a 15% off discount on the tea leaf company as well, and some other leddy flyers. You always get flyers in these things, don't you? Which Lebanon? Uh, some um, happy face stickers. Never understood stickers to be honest, but um, they're kind of cute. So, and then you have what looks like a tea towel or something. Let's have a look. Right, the colour. So, um, I've had tea several tea towels from this company already. Is it a tea towel or is it something else now? No, it's not a tea towel. It's... Oh, I know what that is. Oh, that's really cute. That's a cushion cover. Brilliant. And I've got some filling that I can stick in that. So that'd be fun. Yeah, that's really good. I like that. I do actually have some filling um, that I can stick in there to make that a really nice cushion. So that's really cool. I like the colour of that. It's a really nice um, material as well. And I think. That's pretty much it. So I'll um, I'll go through it again and show you now. So it's a nice little haul I think. You've got the vintage apple scented candle, which I wish I could show you, but I'll never get that lid on online, I don't think. I don't know if I've got anything to hand. Oh, hang on a minute, let's have a go. Oh, here we go. Aha. So I've just got the lid off. And it's just in there. See, there's the candle. You know that smells really, really nice. That's gorgeous, actually. I look forward to burning that. Um, you've got the tea, which smells really nice as well. I really like the theme this month. Um, you've got all this rubbish here. You've got the. Um, I do wish they wouldn't stick. I mean, I know that they have to because it's flavoured. Revenue, I suppose, was a pain. Um, and you've got the card and the envelope, which is nice. Milkshake, definitely going to enjoy trying that. You've got the little chocolate. You've got playing cards, which is always fun. Um, big a lot of chocolate. Stickers. And 
um, the um, cushion cushion cover. Brilliant. So there you go. So that's this month's um, hooker box. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, do you have the hooker box? What do you think of it? Um, please tell me in the um, comments below. Um, I'm certainly having fun. Um, there you go, that's my washing machine. So it's a good job I'm finishing now. <laughs> um, I'm certainly um, having fun the subscription. And um, I'll look forward to um, next month's. Next unboxing is probably going to be the Birch box. Um, I'm hoping it's not going to be disappointing this last month. I didn't show you one from last month because all of the items are broken. But anyway, um, thank you very much for watching and um, I'll be back soon with another unboxing video. Bye for now.